rockcitynetworksandtonedeaf.com.au coming to you from the Arts Centre here in Melbourne. It's Saturday, it's day two of Face the Music 2011 and joining me, Becky Ayres, uh, International Manager of Liverpool Sound City. How are you this morning? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm not too bad. This is We, we were both just having a chat and uh, and, and discussing that we've, we've just arrived and, and, it, and it's really good to start early in the morning. What is it, like 9.30, quarter to 10? It is, yeah. It's that stuff doesn't. early for Saturday. It, and, oh, it's pretty <laughs> early for anybody involved in the music industry, it really. Is. Aren't we usually walking home about this time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Now, uh, Becky, you're here to... Uh, you're, you're in on the discussion, uh, Great Music Cities of the World. I am, yeah. And they've, they've split that down to Liverpool, yeah. Austin, Melbourne, Berlin. Yeah, that's what's your, right. what, what's your take on that? Is, is that pretty accurate? I think that's re a really good kind of representation, really, because you've got such a massive diversity of music represented within those four cities. Mm -hmm. And I think all in their own right have produced amazing artists, and they're just also really very different. And if you were going to say which was the best out of any of them, you just couldn't, because there's just too many like differences and just too many things that are competing really. Well I guess they peak at different times depending on what time of the year yeah. it is too, being on you know opposites, well I mean we're the only one on this side I guess, Yeah, but, but, but every, everyone else sort of has their seasons and their, their particular events. Now speaking of that, can you take us uh, uh, through the development of Liverpool Sound City? I believe it's the largest inner city uh, festival and, and, and uh, music conference in, in the north of England? Yeah, that's yeah. right, it is. Um, I mean, the north of England is... Um, I mean, a lot of people, when they go to the UK, just go to London. But Liverpool is one of the key cities in the UK as well because it's got a massive, massive music scene. And it's also, like, a really big art centre as well. So in the north, there's, like, loads and loads of cities like Liverpool, Newcastle, Manchester, Glasgow, and all around there that have got great, great music scenes and great touring circuits. Yeah. So our aim with, this, with Sound City is basically to for bands that come over from overseas that they can go and play there and then they can be seen by lots of promoters and bookers from all around, there's all, all around the UK really, but particularly the North, yeah. where there's like a real appetite for music and bands can do really well out of just touring there. Yeah, yeah. Now for anyone that's been fortunate enough to go to South by Southwest, I've been there myself, mm. not when you guys started though, you started off as a showcase? Yeah, we yeah, did. Was, was that inside the uh, uh, the British Music Academy? Or, yeah, uh, that's downtown. right, in the embassy, yeah, yeah. downtown. Did you go there? I I did go there. It's the big orange building. Yeah, yeah. No, it was great. Now, is that, so you started in there as a showcase before you became this event and music conference. Yeah, that's right. Can you take us through the development of that? Because that's a, it's in a short amount of time too. It was like four years to, till now. Or yeah, that's correct. It was basically in 2007, and we went over to Austin because there wasn't at that time. It was um, there was only a showcase for music from London, and we just thought, well, there's so much music. But in our opinion, like most of the really great music from the UK comes from within Manchester and Liverpool because yeah. of the Smiths and New Order and obviously Echo and the Bunnymen, Beatles, etc. So we... Oh, stop thought, bragging. Oh, my God. Ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was such a fake laugh. But it was just... But See, it, that's a better one. There you go. Yeah. But no, it was just a real... It was just... We really thought, well, look, we've got to promote, you know, what we're doing up here over there as well and, and just really um, you know make our mark in Austin so we took a showcase over there in the first year and we took bands like the Wombats there yeah. um, and they had their first shows over there and and got signed out of that as well and then at the same time um, we were always getting asked well why isn't there an event in Manchester or Liverpool that's really kind of paying attention to all the music that's coming from there? Because there was In The City, which was run by the late um, Tony Wilson that went run for many years, but that was kind of diminishing at the time. So we thought, well, we need to be promoting what's going on here now, but also giving bands from overseas an opportunity to come and crack the UK market. So the next year we started Liverpool Sound City, which was in 2008, and that was um, the first time that there'd been anything like that in Liverpool which was great because people a lot of people have never been to Liverpool but really want to go because they just really want to soak up that that whole Beatles heritage so we just have had we've been really lucky the reason we've grown so quickly is because we've got that attraction of Liverpool there but also the festival and conferences just is get, get the tracks really good speakers it attracts really good people that come to it and the bands that play there do really well out of it too yeah it's fantastic because it, it seems to me you know with face the music here you have big sound in brisbane one movement festival in perth didn't happen this year but for the, for the last two years previous yeah. 
And then you've got, you know, obviously the originals like South by Southwest and Womax and yeah. things like that. They're popping up all over the planet. And I think that's a great thing because it's, it's building this massive network of, uh, you know, people are really starting to turn up because they want to collect a knowledge base. They want to meet people like yourself. Mm. They, you know, they want to get all this information and try, and try and build their own sort of scenes. What is the premise for you of this talk today, Great Music Cities of the World, and what are you going to take into it and what do you think you're going to take out of it? Um, I think the premise of it really is just to show people and give people a realistic insight into what these great cities are like because everyone's got kind of a standard perception of you know Berlin being maybe like about dance music and Liverpool being about the Beatles but actually to show people that there's like a lot more going on than that and what they can expect when they go there and when they play there and what they can expect to get out of it so I really want to kind of give anyone that's watching kind of that kind of perspective on you know really what the benefits are for them but also um for me to take out of it i think it's just to to kind of just get some comparison of what we can learn from other cities as well because mm -hmm. everyone every one that's from any city has always got a lot of pride in where they come from but it's just really really good to see kind of what other people are doing as well and i think melbourne is just incredible because it's got such an amazing um, art scene here and a music scene that's like you know probably one of the, you know one of the best in the world and I think it's just really great that it's being held here because it's kind of got you know such a unusual identity and I'm just really looking forward to kind of seeing what everyone else's opinions are on it. Well it's not too far away so we're going to let you go you're you've got to walk into the doors in about 15-20 minutes so we'll let you uh let you go get ready, but Becky, thank you very much for joining us here on uh, Rock City Networks and at tonedef.com.au. If you want any more information uh, on Liverpool Sound City, you can go to liverpoolsoundcity.co.uk. That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, excellent. And, uh, well, Becky, thank you so much for joining us and enjoy, enjoy the chat. I am, uh, I'm looking forward to going in and having a look myself. And uh, thank you very much for giving us your time. It's Becky, Becky Ayres here at uh, Face of Music 2011 uh, for Rock City Networks and tonedef.com.au.